Hi children, good morning. I am your teacher Raju Ailapur. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying summer vacations. Uh, so today I am going to uh, tell you something. Uh, it is nothing but a story. But this story is based on some uh, given clue words. So here I already wrote some words on the board. I read those all the words. After reading these words, based on these words, I narrate a story. I then you are all are supposed to listen and watch the story. After that, you are supposed to find what are the different parts of speech hidden in the story. Okay, children? Yeah, let's start. See, uh, as there are some words on the board, I'm going to read just to you all up. Uh, you all uh, just to keep repeating after me forest body thick sleeping happy lion energetic mouse on hunter trick angry tail and some other I would like to add some some other words a tree small green yeah these are the given clue words based on these words now I am narrating the story just uh, listen to my story children uh, definitely I will give you the activity after this story okay yeah <clears throat> long long ago once upon a time there was a forest but the forest was very thick. It was full of trees. Uh, and uh, in the forest, there were so many different animals and birds. So all the animals and birds were happily living in the forest. One day, a lion, I hope, uh, who do you think the king of the forest? It is nothing but the energetic lion. The lion, a lion was happily sleeping under a big tree. The tree was in green color. The tree was in green color. So, the energetic lion, the strong lion was happily sleeping under the tree. But suddenly, there came a mouse. It was very naughty. It always makes a lot of noise by you know, moving here and there. So that little mouse was very naughty. So it saw the energetic lion was sleeping under the tree. So the little mouse climbed onto its body and started playing on. But suddenly when the energetic, the strongest animal, lion, was happily sleeping. For example, just imagine if you are sleeping on the bed happily, if someone disturbs you, then how do you feel? Do you feel very happy to be, to get to woke up? No. You get disappointed. You may get angry with the person. So here it happened the same. So when the lion was happily sleeping on the under the tree. The little mouse climbed onto its body and started playing. But uh, as it disturbed its sleep, the lion got very angry with the mouse. He caught the mouse with his huge claws. Then the little mouse was very scared and it was trembled. It requested the lion to uh, forgive her. But uh, the, even the lion was very strong, energetic. It took pity on uh, the mouse and it uh, let it go away. It said, hey, you look very small. You disturbed my sleep. Thou, I am leaving you. Just go on. Uh, live happily. So, by saying so, the energetic lion uh, left the mouse. Then, 
the mouse was very happy and it it, it promised the lion that if it, if it needs definitely i would help you in terms of need i would help you the the mouse promised the king uh, the king of the forest the lion when the mouse promised the king of the lion so king of the forest the lion the lion started laughing ha 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 see how you look small you look very small but how my body is very strong as i'm very strong how come it possible to save me ha it, it, it is impossible to save me so he, he talked in very proudly he talked very proudly but he didn't the lion did not believe the mouse words but however the lion the kind lion even if it is energetic it was very kind so the kind lion left the mouse to live happily so the little mouse went away after some days we don't know a hunt or care on over there we don't know where he has come from and he trapped the lion the lion was trapped in the net and even it was very energetic and strong he tried to get rid of the net but it was unable to come out and it shouted for help it roared for help it was very angry and finally it has become helpless it shouted and shouted and shouted and shouted finally it was tired and uh, it was it became helpless it, it got tired but luckily at the same time the little mouse which was left by the king of the forest lion saw its friend the king uh, of the forest lion and seeing the scene the mouse really took pity on it oh my friend who left me you uh, who left me to believe is he is suffering um, problem so it is my responsibility to save him by thinking so the little mouse started cutting the net with its sharp teeth finally the mouse sorry the energetic the energetic the strong lion the king of the forest the lion became free got rid of got rid of free from the net and uh, he, he was really felt it felt very ashamed by saying those words uh, earlier now it said uh, oh my dear mouse as you are very small i just uh, uh, disgraced you degraded you i am very sorry you uh, saved my life from today onwards let's let's friends uh, let's be friends by saying so the lion and the mouse they became friends forever so it is a story i hope you all enjoyed my story now here i am going to give you the main activity i hope you understood what the activity is that here in the story parts of speech there are parts of speech are hidden so you are supposed to write all day to only how many parts of speech are there yet what are they noun pronoun verb adverb adjective and conjunction preposition and interjection so you are supposed to find all these eight parts of speech from the story if you do this and if you if you find all in any one of the uh, some of the parts of speech from the story just you keep writing in comment box i'll check uh, uh, okay by this i end up my video uh, happy